Okay, right, I've been away for a couple of hours now, and I've just come back, and as you can see, the rubber has actually gone off now. So what I'm going to do now is just to remove the packaging, don't forget this is only half of the rubber mould, I've got to produce the other half now. So what I'm going to try and do is to preserve the box as well, because I could make another box but I don't really want to. So let's just see what happens. As you can see we did have a bit of seepage. It does peel away quite nicely this stuff, so just find the corner and roll it up. Right, so what we're left with is half of the mould and half of the plasticine. So what we want to do now is to remove the plasticine and then we'll re-box this up and then cast the other half of the mould. So let's see how we do this now. Right, I've removed the plasticine now. I don't know whether you can see, but there's a few flaps of stuff. Because this was a curved platform, we've got a few flaps of um, silicone that I'm going to cut away. So this is where you take your sharp standing knife. Right, to make life easier, I'm just, I've just I've basically put the piece back in the mould and I'm just going to use the sharp knife just to cut around the edges of that. I didn't realise that I'll have a few straggly ends. Right, so as you can see there, I've just tidied them edges up a bit now. There was a few flaps underneath, I forgot about because it's a curved surface. Uh, the actual stuff seeped underneath, I've just cut that away now. So what we're left with is a nice impression of the underside of this piece. If I take it out now, you can see. There we go. Just put a few of the little flaps off. So there's our underside of our piece, which is a perfect reproduction of the underside, or the front side rather, of this actual mould. So right, so I've got to this stage now where I've got the mould back in place. So what I've got to do now is again build the box now around this. Spray a release agent over this half of the mould and also the piece inside. And then pour the new mould. But before I do that, what I have to do as well is to create an air vent and a pouring vent. So the way I was going to do that is basically just to release the piece out of the mould again. And I'm looking at putting a slot, a pouring slot in the shape of a V and I think I'll do it on this end here what I also want is an air slot as well so that when I pour liquid in it vents and allows air to come out of the other side otherwise you could get air bubbles trapped and that I will put along here again just by cutting a V And also running that V slot right up to the top. So as the liquid fills the mould, just get that out. As the liquid fills the mould, it can 
dispel the air from the low points as you can see there again at the top is my pouring vent and at the bottom is an air vent that air vent as I said is just attaches so when you pour the liquid in here it can fill up and air will then creep out of that little crevice there so now I'm happy with that what I'll do is put the piece back in and now it's ready to rebuild the box around so I'm just going to do that now and then I'll show you me pouring the second half right I've just made a box again not a very good one but it will do the job hopefully and what I've got to do now is to basically pour the new half of the rubber solution mix up another load and then pour it over the top but before I do that I need to spray this whole area with a release agent so that I can separate the two rubber moulds and also get the piece out when I've finished moulding it if I didn't spray that the new solution would just stick to the old solution and we wouldn't be able to get it apart so that's what I've got to do now so again what I'm going to do is weigh out how much we're going to need by adding the rice as I did previously I'm happy there's enough rice in there that's going to cover the whole mould so now I'll weigh this out like I did before right I've just mixed up the solution of silicone for the second part of our two part mould and I'm just going to spray some release agent onto our mould Pouring gently into a corner and just allowing the silicone rubber to find its way into all the crevices. Just getting the last bits out now. And there you go. We'll just wait now for that to go hard and we'll see what we're left with. Thank you.